What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV. Welcome back to another performance tier list for you guys, this time for the month of February, where, you know, fairly successful month. One loss against Leicester uh, and Milan, actually, in the Champions League. The rest were wins against Manchester City, um, Chelsea Ham. and West Ham. So big wins there. Uh, all clean sheets in all three of those games. But um, the way this works is we're going to average out the player ratings that we have given over the course of the month. And the way it works is if you get zero to four average, you go into awful. If you get four to five, you go into not good. If you get five to six, you go into okay. Seven to eight, you go into very, sorry, six to seven, you go into good. Seven to eight, you go in very good. And eight to 10, you go into excellent. And if you haven't played enough games, you go into can't judge. So uh, let's start off with Hugo Lloris. And obviously Hugo Lloris goes straight into can't judge because he hasn't played a game this month. Oh, he did. Did he? Yeah, played against Man City. Oh, what did he get? <laughs> um, I gave him an eight, you gave him a seven. So it was a 7.5. 7.5. 7 7.5 for Hugo. What a month for him. <laughs> very good then. Very good. He did have a very good month. <laughs> <laughs> no fuck-ups. <laughs> Great month for Hugo. Yeah, I couldn't even believe Hugo played this month. Yeah, anyway, he played against he Man City, very yeah. Good. Fraser Forster up next is going to be an interesting one. And if I'm going to make a prediction maybe before um, you give us the average, I'd probably say he goes into, I'd probably say OK. Well, the, what's OK? What's the OK is five to six. He's just above OK. 6.3. Okay. So he goes into 6 .3. good. 6.3. Um, he obviously um, played four games this month. Leicester, we both gave him a four and he wasn't great in that game. But then three sevens in a row. Um, against Milan, West Ham and Chelsea. So obviously didn't play the game against Man City. So 6.3 average. And I think he's been decent for, uh, to be fair to him. He had a rocky start. But yeah, I think it's gradually go. got better, hasn't it? And his best yeah. performance has come in the last game against Chelsea. So, all right, fair enough. He goes into good. Next up, Ben Davis has been deployed as a left wing back the last couple of games. Um, I think he's had a fairly solid month, Ben Davis. I'd probably say he goes into good. 6.6 6 yeah. average rating. Yes, yeah, so um, he goes into good. Didn't play the game against Milan, but played the other four. Had a we gave him both gave him an eight against Man City, but then a four against Leicester, and then a seven eight. I gave him an eight against uh, West Ham. You gave him a seven and a seven against Chelsea. So high, a good month for a uh, very good month for Ben Davis. Yeah, 6.6 6, pretty solid, very dependable. Agreed. Uh, next up, Cuti Romero. Um, he's had astonishing games in the last two games. Uh, gradually getting better and better as the month has worn on. So I would say he goes into very good. Well, his average, I can tell you, is 7.8. Yeah, so very good it very is. Very good. What, so what's what's uh, excellent, eight, eight and above? Eight, yeah. yeah, see, just misses just. out. Just misses out because he got a five against uh, Milan. You gave him a five against Milan. That's mm. probably what cost him because I gave him a six. Um, amazing games, an eight against Man City and two nines against West Ham and Chelsea. So excellent uh, form from uh, Cuti Romero. Well, not quite. Yeah. Very good form. <laughs> yeah, just about misses out. Just about misses out, but 7.8. Um, and he's been, he has been great this month, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, he has. He has. Return to form. Yeah, last couple of games has been astonishing, like I said. Um, Eric Dyer up next. I'd probably say Dyer's performance, obviously tragic against Leicester, but apart from them, he's been fairly good. So I would say that that Leicester game brings his average down quite a bit. I would say, I'm not sure between okay and good. I'll, I'll, I'll go just about good for argument's sake. He is 6.3, which is a good, although, albeit he got a two against Leicester and a six against Milan. He did get a nine against Man City, a seven against West Ham and an eight against Chelsea. So more good games than bad puts him in the good category. Mm. Eric Dyer goes into... He was terrible against Leicester though. Yeah. He, that drags... He would have been very good if he wasn't for that Leicester game. <laughs> uh, Jaffet Tanganga up next. I think he only played one game against Leicester. Did play Leicester, one game he? and... and terrible. Three. He got a three, so um, he goes into awful. Awful. Damn. It was a bad game against uh, Leicester, to be fair. Tanganga really, really wasn't good. Up next is Davinson Sanchez. I think he also only played one game. Um, he he goes into can't judge. Didn't oh, play a minute. Judge. Didn't play a minute. Can't judge. Clement Longley. Um, I would say probably Clement Longley would go into okay. 6.3, three games against less against uh, Milan, West Ham and Chelsea. Um, only conceded one goal in those games, but we gave him two sixes and a seven. So, so he goes into good. He goes into he goes into good. No, nothing outstanding, but nothing too bad either. Mm. 
to Clement Longley into good. Next up is Emerson Royale, the GOAT. I mean, he's going into excellent. I'm pretty sure of it. His average for this month, considering he played four games, 8.3. 8.3. Unbelievable. Big up to Emerson Royale. And I don't think we've put someone in the excellent category since Bentancourt had that amazing month. Unbelievable. He got a nine against City, seven against Milan, nine against West Ham and eight against Chelsea. So averages out to 8.3. And his overall for the season as well is getting better. I've got him overall for a 6.7 now wow. for the season. So Emerson is getting those standards up. Big up mm. to him. What a month he's had. Incredible. He's top of the pack. Unbelievable. Incredible. 8.3. Three. Better than Cuti Romero is crazy. Uh, next up is Pedro Porro. Um, obviously, just one game to judge against Leicester, where he was absolutely terrible. And it was he a goes three. into awful, doesn't he? If Tanganga does, Porro does, I guess. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, so not the best first month for him. But time will tell. Yeah, so Porro goes into awful. Ivan Perisic. Was it? He played what? Two, three games. He played. Uh, two games. Two games. I'll probably say he goes into not good. 5.2. Yeah. 5.2. Okay. He goes into okay. Just about gets away with it. He got a three against Leicester. Sorry, three games he played. Um, oh, I might have got that maths wrong then. One sec. Oh, VAR call. There's a VAR. Oh, no. No, I haven't got the maths wrong. That's right. That is right. Sticking with yeah, the on-field yeah, yeah, decision. No, 5.2. 5 Sticking 2. with the on-field decision. Because he got decision. a 7 against Man City that saved him. A 3 against Leicester and a 5 against uh, Milan. Okay. So 5.2 for Ivan Perisic. I mean, when I'm looking at Perisic's performances this month, I think he probably should go into the not good category. Um... Well, to be honest, this month I thought it was fine against City. I thought it was okay against Milan. It was terrible against Leicester. Mm -hmm. I just think maybe that performance against Leicester was that bad. It was well, that he, bad. He, he did get a three for it. it was so, that bad. But I did think against City and Milan, there wasn't too much to complain about. To I be guess fair. he was okay. Mm. Uh, Ryan Sessignon can't judge, I believe. He didn't play right? many. He's injured, I think. Yeah, hasn't played. Yeah, Ryan Sessignon can't judge. Ollie Skip. What's it? Four games or three games? Three games for Ollie Skip. I'm going to say he goes into very good. I can tell you, Ollie Skip goes into excellent. Oh, He's got 8.2. Come on, Skip. 8.2. <laughs> he got an 8 against Milan, an 8 against West Ham, and a 9 against love Chelsea. That. Absolutely. So, love Skippy that. just doesn't beat Emerson's 8.3, but what a month it is for Ollie Skip. Really puts him back in act, back in um, the pecking order. Absolutely. Fantastic month for him, and obviously getting his first goal for Spurs as well. Next up is Pierre Emil Hoybier. I would say he's had a fairly good month. Well, really good month, actually. I'm going to say he goes into very good. 7.5. A very good month yeah. for Pierre Emil Hoybier. Um, the only bad point for him, obviously, he was suspended for the Milan game, had a terrible performance um, against Leicester, although he was probably our best player, one of our better players on the day. He got five against Leicester, but then but against City in nine and at eight against West Ham and Chelsea. So 7.5, that Leicester game probably just about costing him an excellent. Yeah, and it's um, back into form for Pierre because he went through a bit of a rocky patch, didn't he? Uh, but after returning from the World Cup, but he seems back at it now. Well, before this month, um, he had four five five four five so if that's five that was his last five games before yeah. this month so he was struggling for form but this is a return to form for him absolutely. for sure absolutely rodrigo bentancor uh can't judge no oh, he played two play? games oh he played two games played two games he got injured in the leicester game which he scored in right um um he got uh, an well, average i'm gonna say one sec he's gonna go into good 7.3 Oh, so very good. Very good. He got an eight against Man City. And mm. a, I, you gave him a six against Leicester. And I gave him a seven when the game he got injured, which he scored. So he gets a 7.3 average. Obviously, he's going to be missed the remainder of the season. But um, he's the only player, I believe, we have in our squad, which has which he has over seven for the whole season. Wow. Uh, uh, average. So Not even Kane? Not even Kane. Wow. Yeah. He's the only one. So um, 7.3 for Ben Tenkor. Big right, miss. Next up is Pape Matasar. Played one game, so he must go in excellent because that game was excellent. Um, two games. It says play two games because well, he came on against Leicester for that like half right. an hour. That has cost him an excellent, unfortunately. Uh, so he goes very good, does he? Seven. Seven, yeah, very good. Well, <laughs> he got a five and a nine, which averaged out to a seven. Okay. It's a bit harsh because he didn't play that. He only played, what, half an hour against Leicester and the game was done when he came and that, on. And that game, he was good. I mean, he was unbelievable in the San Siro. But, yeah, he was. So, if it wasn't for that Leicester, cameo against Leicester, he goes into excellent. Mm. Unfortunately not. 
that he did get that nine against Milan. So a seven overall. Next up is Yves Bissouma. I think he probably can't goes judge. into Can't Judge. Can't yeah. Judge. All right, Bissouma into Can't Judge. Uh, Arnout Danjuma also Can't Judge, right? Arnout Danjuma, Can't Judge. No rating this month. Okay, Arnout Danjuma, Can't Judge. Next up, Dejan Kulusevski. I'm going to say he goes into the good category. Dejan Kulusevski, 5.8. Wow, okay. 5.8. He goes okay category. Because he got an 8 against City, then a 4 against Leicester, a 4 against Milan, a 6 against West Ham, and a 7 against Chelsea. Wow. So, I on my average him a 6, you averaged him a 5.8. Actually, sorry, 5.9 was his overall average uh, between the two of us. Um, so, you're a bit harsher not on good, him. Not a good month for Decky. Not a good month for Decky. And, and, although um, it finished well. Yeah, I think finish. that he's... Look, I would say like it was a it was an okay finish for Decky's standards. I mean, he he performed well in the last game against Chelsea, but you just know he's capable of so much more. Yeah, I, what, what I would say with Decky is that um, he's definitely been lacking a bit of sharpness for for a few since coming back from injury. But I think there were signs in the second half against West Ham and the Chelsea game that maybe he's starting to get back to his back to his best. Hopefully, mm, he's hope sharpest. So. Hope so. This time next month, um, I'm hoping he's going to be in the very good category. Uh, Lucas Moura up next. I mean, can't judge, right? Can't judge. Lucas Moura goes into can't judge. Um, next up is Hyung Min Son. Uh, dropped to the bench this month. Two games off the bench. Scored in one of them. Um, not very good in the others. So I'm probably going to say S Sonny goes into okay. 6.2. 6.2. So, so just good. Go, gets into good. Just. Um, Got an eight against Man City, two fours against Leicester and Milan, and then an eight against West Ham for his goal in cameo, and a seven against Chelsea for uh, his 10 minutes where he took the corner and uh, was decent. So um, his cameos have got him into the, uh, into, the, into the good category, lucky for him. All right, uh, last two players. Next up is Richarlison. Um, is he going to be our first player in the not good category? I mean, we gave him a seven in the last game, so that might push it up to OK maybe. 6.3. 6.3. So, yeah, good. Into the good category. Good category. Wow. For two games. One against West Ham and one against Chelsea. So, seven against Chelsea gets him into the, that performance against Chelsea. Was a, was a positive display, in my opinion. And I think we have looked good with him in the team. But against West Ham, did flatter, deceive a bit. But I think maybe the coaching staff appreciate the job he does off the ball more mm. than the fans do. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, it's unbelievable that we've had no one in the not good category this month. It's the only month, only. the only time, unless we think Harry Kane's going to go in there, but I highly doubt it because Harry Kane is up next and I'm going to say he goes into very good. 6.6, 6, just misses out. 6.6. 6. Oh, he hasn't scored that many this month, actually, come to think of it. Because he's, he's... He broke the record against City. He got a 9, but then he got 4 against Leicester and a 6 against Milan. Mm. Then he got 1 assist against West Ham, so that's a 7, and he got a goal against Chelsea, and, and we gave him an 8. So those two games against Leicester and Milan um, costing him quite cost, probably costing him a very good rating. Um, but 9, 7, and 8 in the three home games. Um, so at home, he was excellent away from home he was not good so mm. it puts him in the good category last but not least Stellini slash Conte I mean we're putting them in the same uh, category here 6.7 6.7 so that goes into good yes obviously half we gave him a three uh, against Leicester um, and a f well the only ones that we gave low ratings for was Conte three against Leicester five against Milan and then Stellini gets a uh, Stellini got all the praise all the um, ratings for City uh, West Ham and Chelsea and I think when you're looking at this tier list now if you bring it up like the the placing of these players now is such a joy to behold when you look at maybe the last last month's one where every, where it was like bottom heavy instead of top heavy yeah we're um, trying to improve the performances so it looks like. yeah it's very very much improved let's run through it we'll start from bottom to top and can't judge you have Danton Sanchez Ryan Sessegnon Yves Bissouma Arnaut Danjum and Lucas Moura in all four, you've got Tanganga and Poro. In not good, you've got no one. In okay, you've got Perisic and Deki. In the good category, you've got Forster, Davis, Dyer, Longley, Son, Richarlison, Kane, and Conte slash Stellini. In very good, you've got Hugo Lloris. Don't know how he's crept in there. But uh, Kuti, Romero, Pierre-Emma Rodrigo, Bentancourt, Pape, Matassar. 
And then the best of the month, you've got um, Emerson and Ollie Skip, both in excellent. Yeah, um, I think that's about right. Yeah, I think when you're looking at it, it is right, isn't it? I mean, maybe Kane can probably be bu uh, bumped up to very good if... Um, I think you could probably put Kane up one. You could probably put Richarlison down one. Yeah. Um, but I think other than that, maybe Longley is a bit lucky to go into good, potentially. Yeah. yeah. But apart from that, I think it's all pretty fair. And obviously Poro, like... And Poro, yeah, Poro is <laughs> very harsh. And Tanganga, to be fair. They only played one game, yeah. so it's harsh on them. But, um, yeah, I think I think by and large, I think those are very fair ratings. And when I think about who our best players have been this month, I think Emerson and Skip is probably the right, the right uh, decision. All right, so there you have it. That is our February performance tier list. Let me know in the comments section below. Do you think we've got it right? Do you think this is accurate? Let us know who you think who or who you would change in the comment section below. But that is our February performance tier list. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.